Hey guys, it's Tony again from The Final Cut. Today we're going to make my mouth-watering fried chicken in the oven. Today is going to be a fabulous day. Well, as you know, I've got my K9 vacuum cleaner. She's here at my feet. She always loves to come in the kitchen while I'm cooking. Well, to start off with, you need to find you a small chicken. Don't go buy these big roasting chickens to fry. The breasts are too big. They are tough. They just don't come out tender at all. But if you'll go find you a little small chicken like we have here today and cut it up, uh, it looks like they are, were organically grown. Uh, they were yard chickens, that's what they look like to me. And uh, they come out so tender and tasty. And uh, so today, what we need to start off with is some vegetable short a little Crisco is what we're using today we'll use about a third cup so we're gonna dip in here and get a third cup of uh, Crisco okay so we take our third cup of oil our Crisco <laughs> <laughs> and you can uh, just dump it right over in an iron skillet Now we're gonna take this skillet and we're gonna put it in the oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna let that sit there and let that Crisco melt and get good and warm. And uh, you can always use a little grapeseed oil instead of the Crisco. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil. Uh, you can also use peanut oil. All those are good high temperature uh, oils to you. Alright, so now that we've got that in the oven and waiting to warm up, we're going to season up. I've got about a cup and a half of flour here, all purpose. We're going to take a teaspoon of black pepper and we're going to sprinkle it in this flour mixture. We're also going to take and put a teaspoon of salt. Get a little salt everywhere too. And then I like to use the Paul Prudhomme's Poultry Magic. And I like to take about a tablespoon and put it in there. Now for just a little kick, we're gonna take and put a teaspoon of Tony Satchery's. We've got a little Cajun blood here. Yeah, a little more than a teaspoon, that'll work. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna take and blend this up with a fork. All right, so we've got that flour mixed in with the spices. Sweet girl, you just wait no bit to drop something, aren't you? You just wait no bit to drop something on the floor, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, guys, it's time to take the oil out of the oven. It's nice and warmed up set it here on the oven. Now we're gonna bread our chicken and place it in that oil. Nice size little breast. Do 
this. When you cut your chicken up, you wash it really good, make sure you leave a little moisture on there, and that's all you need to bread this chicken. You take it straight from your flour and place it in this oil. Sorry y'all, now our other dog is in here walking around seeing if she can find any crumbs. My butchering skills are not that great. That's a thigh. <laughs> this is also a thigh. It came out okay, but the other one I kind of butchered the butcher job. And you never want to keep that flour. You got, uh, a lot of salmonella and stuff from uh, chicken, raw chicken has been put in there. That goes in the garbage. So, now wash my hands real quick. Now we're gonna take and put our chicken back in the oven. And we'll set our timer for 30 minutes. We'll check that chicken and we'll turn it over and cook it for another 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes at 350 degrees. On Sunday afternoons, uh, after church, that was our big treat. We would have fried chicken, uh, butter beans, peas, um, and some biscuits and that was a really great treat for everybody and the preacher loved to come and eat fried chicken on Sunday so we had the preacher at our house a lot <laughs> guys this is about 15 minutes in it's starting to fry okay guys it's time to pull this chicken out of here and flip it over Pull it out of the oven, it makes it a little easier for me. As you can see, it's starting to do a little browning. Not very much oil there, that's, that's the key. You don't have this totally saturated in oil, but it comes out nice and crispy. and tender. Might be easier with tongs, but Tony has always used a fork when he cooks. He's just, it's just what he's used to. All right, we're gonna put that back in the oven for about another 30 minutes. Okay guys, it's time to pull this chicken out of here. I checked it a little earlier and it wasn't browning quite as well as I like. Uh, so I turned the temperature up about to 375 and added an extra 10 minutes to it. So let's check it out and see how it does now. Oh, nice and golden brown. So that's how our chicken is supposed to look. So we're gonna take and put some paper towels in this plate. And we'll put our chicken over on that. 
and let it drain a little bit. You get a nice golden brown uh, chicken, but you don't have all that grease cooked into it. It'll tend to stick to that skillet just a little bit. Just a little maneuvering and you can get it out of there. Now we'll let that drain and cool a little bit and then we'll give it a test. Okay guys, let's try this chicken out. The best part. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's good. And it got cooked all the way through. And it is so tender. It'll just fall off the bone. Looks really good. Mm. All right, I'm going to put the camera down so I can try some too. <laughs> okay, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for further videos from us. Hey guys, one of the perks of Tony making these cooking videos is that I get to reap the benefits. Um, he made some awesome oven fried chicken tonight and it was so good. Um, but just wanted to let you know it was tasty. Let us know if you tried and if you like it.